Listen, I, I realize this doesn't look promising, but I, it could be worse. I mean, this was actually developed by WayForward, one of our favorite developers at CGR Undertale. They always do good stuff, even do good movie games. They did Thor on the Nintendo DS, and it was awesome. So there's hope for the Smurfs, too. Wait, what? Oh, they didn't do the DS version? Oh, holy sh**! So, as you'd expect from games based on movies, the Smurfs 2 smurfed its way onto just about every platform imaginable. We're playing the Nintendo DS version. And yes, they're still releasing Nintendo DS games in 2013. Movie games, mostly. Games like the Smurfs 2. I guess the, I guess the DS is still smurfing alive. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna use the Smurf as a verb joke a lot in this review, because frankly, there's not much else to talk about. You can either deal with it or go smurf yourself. Now, I will tell you, this game isn't as bad as you may think. But, you know, that's provided you have a keen understanding of just how hideous and repugnant these games tend to be. The good news is, the Smurfs 2 is neither hideous nor repugnant. The bad news is, it's, it's still a game for really little kids who have yet to develop taste and decorum. If you know enough to bathe regularly, this probably isn't a game for you. No, what this is, is a minigame collection. Although, I use the term minigame loosely, as well as the term collection. It's more like activities, and there are only nine of them. Now that said, I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Again, given the audience, that this is actually a perfectly decent little electronic activity book for kids. Not great, could be better, could be way worse. I want the secret formula says Gargamel, as he snips off Smurfette's hair. Then I can make Smurf Essence, which will give me the power to rule the world! <laughs> so what are the activities? Well, there's Mario Paint with Smurfs. Freaking Smurf Paint. Which is always fun. This would, this would be one of my favorite Smurfing games, if it were a bit less restrictive. It's like, you can only do the fill, you know? No free coloring or anything like that. Anyway, there's also a cake decorator. You could dress up Smurfette. There's some games here, too. Some racing and matching. Uh, very basic stuff. And, you know, the games are obviously short on depth and content, but uh, they're at least functional, you know? They play well. There are no crappy controls or anything, so what is here is pretty well done. Now, obviously, there could be a lot more minigames, and the instructions are a bit obtuse for a kid's game, but otherwise, Solid stuff for its intended audience. In fact, there's also a story mode, which is basically just a Smurfs audiobook. You can play the story for your kid, or even play it without audio, so they can read it themselves. And the cool thing is that you actually can play the mini-games from within the story by tapping and interacting with the pictures. And that's a nice little touch. And by the way, any DS game that makes you turn the system sideways like a book gets some bonus points from me. I wish more would have done that. That's awesome. Look, you can tell by looking at this if The Smurfs 2 is a game for you. And in general terms, it's obviously not a great game. But for a movie game, for such young players, it's really not bad. I mean, I'm not promising anything, but for what it is, this game smurfs. Just take that as you will.